All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to go and graph this, so far what we've learned, right, how to graph this, or to graph these two, is we've talked about creating the unit circle, right? And remember that we always start on our initial side. <coughs> and then what to do from there is we would just kind of rotate in the counterclockwise direction would be positive, and the clockwise direction would be negative. So this one's positive, so I'm going to be going in, in this direction. However, we remember that halfway around a circle is pi, but we're talking about 22 over 3 pi. So one helpful way to do this was if we broke this up into thirds, right, we could say this is 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, and 3 pi over 3, which is equivalent to one. pi, right? And then we could do the same thing on the bottom. Right? So we could say, now I want to need to get to 22, though. So you can say 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, or I'm sorry, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi over 3, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi over 3, which is equivalent to 2 pi, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So you could keep on going around and around and around to find your angle, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, let's do that again. <laughs> so that was 6 pi. That is 12 pi. 12 pi. Um, that's going to be 18. 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so that's a lot of work, right? But ladies and gentlemen, one thing I want you to notice is, remember when we talked about coterminal angles, right? Mm -hmm. Coterminal angles have exactly the same initial and the same terminal side. Now, if we kind of took out some of those circles, would we have the exact same angle? If I kind of took out some of those, when you see these kind of circles that go around, could I like take some of those out and just draw an angle from there to there? Mm -hmm. Right? Or maybe only go around once? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're doing a lot of circling, right? For no reason. So what I want you to do is to understand whenever you have an angle that's larger than two pi, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call using period as our A which means we're gonna take any revolution around a circle, which we're gonna call a period, and this is gonna tell us our graph is periodic. So what I'll do is I wanna rewrite this problem. I wanna rewrite this as, oh, actually I need to figure out, uh, we were supposed to evaluate this, that's what it was. All right, well, whatever, let's just rewrite it. No, I wrote the problem wrong. Let's do this differently. Let's do, because this will help you guys out with your homework, let's do tangent and let's do cosine, okay? My apologies, because I, I might as well help you guys out with your homework, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say we need to evaluate for cosine at 2 pi. Well, anyways, the first thing we do when we evaluate on your homework was to do what? Determine where the point is on your unit circle, right? You need to keep on going around and around and around to determine where your angle is so you can find the point on the end circle. However, ladies and gentlemen, here's kind of a shortcut that you need to do. Rather than drawing all this up, because what if I said this was 122 pi over 3? Are you going to spend your whole test just circling? It's a waste of time, right? So how can we kind of beat that system? How can we make it quicker? What you can do is, is what I was calling using period as me. I can rewrite this as cosine of 22 pi over 3, I'm sorry, I can write this as how many, every single time I take out a circle, so I could say plus, or I could rewrite this as 12 over 3, 6 pi over 3, that's a period, right, or a revolution, it's a redundancy, 6 pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3, uh, 6, 12, 18, plus 4 pi over 3. Do you guys notice how all these are just circles around that I'm doing, right? It's just added stuff. So I can kind of take them out. And really, all I need to do is evaluate for cosine of 4 pi over 3. And if we graph 4 pi over 3, is that a coterminal angle? 1, 2, 3, 4. That is. So all I'm asking you or telling you guys to do is when you have an angle that's larger than 2 pi, try to take out all those extra 2 pi's and just look at the angle at hand. Yes? So do the math first and then draw the angle? 
Um, yes, yes, I do that. We'll do it for that one on this problem. Nice. So you have it like that, right? Now we determine that point on the unit circle, not, or we didn't determine the point on the unit circle. Now we need to figure out what is that point on the unit circle. What does that point relate to? So the best way that I always like to look at it is we haven't talked about it yet. Is determine that distance from here to here is how far? Well, pi over three, two pi over three. How far is this? from here to here is pi over three, right? So so from here to here is going to be pi over three. Yeah. So you can say if the distance from here to here is pi over three which is going to be your direct opposite of this angle, which is pi over three. So does anybody remember what this unit circle, what this, where this point is on the unit circle? Quadrant one. It is in quadrant one, but what is the coordinate point for this? Uh, when it's pi over three, uh, what is the coordinate point? Right, because this one's the exact same. This one's a negative, or this one, the distance from here to here is pi over three. So what is the coordinate point when its distance is pi over three away from the x-axis? because these are supposed to be symmetrical of each other. Cross, I'll help you guys out. One and half, comma, comma, square root of three, divided by two. So for this one, if this is in the first quadrant, and then this one is symmetrical, or flip, um, reflective, or the x and y axis in the fourth quadrant, this point is gonna be negative, one half, comma, negative, square root of three over two. <coughs> Kinda follow me, what I did? Okay, so if we know that this point is negative one half comma negative square root of three over two, I say cosine, find the cosine of this. Remember cosine evaluates for the cosine is the well let's draw a triangle, okay, because I'm seeing some deaf ears. So ladies and gentlemen, here's our here's our angle, right, with the x-axis. Here's your x-axis, here's the origin, right? Our point is negative one half, negative square root of three over two. And our hypotenuse is one. Cosine is what? And remember we're dealing with this angle. Our cosine is gonna be dealing with what? You guys really need to remember these. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Or what we abbreviated in our notes is just the x coordinate of your coordinate point. So therefore, this is equal to negative one half, okay?